Well everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the Apple Watch Series 8 and see how this specific watch holds up in 2023. Now personally for me, I think this is a very very good watch still. You're really not missing out on too much here and it's probably still one of the best watches you can buy in the marketplace right now. If you want to pick it up, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and you can help support the channel at the same time. Now starting off with the outside of the Apple Watch Series 8, one of my favorite things going for this watch is probably the display. I am happy to report that there's probably been not too many issues with the Apple Watch Series 8 in general. Sometimes you may see that there can be display issues with Apple Watches and you know issues in general with any watch out there. Funny enough, the first couple of Apple Watches had a massive you know, a panel issue where the panel would pop off the top. Luckily for us, it doesn't seem like we have that issue with these watches. They, we haven't really had them in years now. But this thing comes in two different sizes, the 41 millimeter size and the 45 millimeter size. So you do have that ability of actually getting an Apple Watch like the Apple Watch Series 8 in two different sizes. So if you want that bigger one, you get the bigger one. If you get a smaller one, you get the smaller one. So you have that type of flexibility here. One other thing that I do like a lot about the Apple Watch Series 8 is that you do have the ability of exchanging the bands between every single watch on its size, you know, weight. So if you get the smaller Apple Watch, you will be able to use the small Apple Watch bands on all the Apple Watches that were ever made, including with the, you know, more, you know, even the more cheaper ones that came out many, many years ago. So that was something that was really cool. Even the 45 millimeter watches that we have now, I mean, that's another cool capability that we have right there. And that in and of itself is awesome. Now we do have the buttons on the side of our Apple Watch that have been there since even the first Apple Watch that ever came out. So that was something that was really cool as well. And on the back, we do have that standard, you know, charging port. Now it's not a port, it's like a wireless charging pad kind of way. And the thing I like a lot about that charging pad is that you do actually have the ability of basically clicking it on the back and unplugging it if you want to, and that's it. And the best thing is, is that every single watch charger that Apple's made since then has been the same. So you can go ahead and you know plug this thing in just like as you normally would right there. And basically you can have the first Apple Watch charger up until this one, and they're all going to be the same and they're all going to work exactly the same way. So I'm hoping Apple doesn't change away from that because if they do, that's going to be a very, very sad thing. But that's something that you are kind of getting with this watch, which is honestly pretty cool. Now you are getting, you know, basically that on the outside. That's pretty much it. Like I said, the bands are exchangeable between the watches, which is pretty nice. You're getting a microphone, you're getting all this other stuff too. The display apparently is 20% more screen real estate or screen area than the Apple Watch SE. So that's something that's pretty nice. You know, if you're wanting to get an Apple Watch SE, you are actually getting more screen real estate on the Apple Watch Series 8, which is nice. So, and that kind of covers it up on the outside. Now, internally, there are some pretty big things to keep in mind here. So for one, this is an Apple Watch that is going to be supported for many years to come. So if you're buying something like an Apple Watch Series 8, this Apple Watch is going to be supported for many, many years. It's not like tomorrow this thing's going to be outdated. This is going to be the longest supported, longest lasting Apple Watch for the next several years. So that's something I love with these types of watches. For example, my Apple Watch Series 4 is pretty much almost outdated. It's probably going to be outdated later this year if it doesn't get Watch OS 10. So that's going to be kind of a sad thing. I mean, I think this watch could last forever, but if it doesn't, well then that's kind of what it is and I'm not really freaking out about it too much. But the good thing is with the Apple Watch Series 8, you won't really have to worry about that because that specific watch is going to be supported for a long, long period of time. So that's something I'm really happy about. And in this case, I wouldn't really freak out about it because it's going to be there for a long, long time. Now with its performance though, this is the thing that I actually do like a lot about this watch. So the performance behind this watch is, is that it's still going to be a very good performance heavy watch for the most part. This thing, you know, basically has that SA chip inside of it. We really don't know how much RAM is in this thing. I'm pretty sure it's like a gigabyte at least, or maybe like half a gigabyte. It doesn't really need a lot of RAM. But the thing with these watches is, is that they feel so smooth and they perform so well that even my Apple Watch Series 4, almost on an everyday basis, feels and performs so good. It's insane. I wouldn't really think that a watch like this actually performs this well throughout its lifetime. But I mean, this is this watch is like five years old now. The Series 8 is brand new almost. So you're getting a much faster watch on there. All the features within the newest watchOS versions are tailored almost for the Apple Watch Series 8s. So you're getting features like the blood oxygen application. You have the ECG application. You get high and low heart rate notifications as well. Irregular rhythm notifications, which is awesome. You're also getting temperature sensing. You're also getting cycle tracking, which is a pretty cool thing. And you know the standard features that come with almost all Apple Watches, things like fall detection, crash detection, the gyroscope, you know, things like that. So this is a watch that I think is still super relevant and it's still a very good pickup. But the question that some people may have is, you know, should you still buy this watch? To that, I would say 1000% yes, but I would say, are you coming from an existing Apple Watch already? If you already don't have an Apple Watch, 
you don't have to go and just buy an Apple Watch Series 8. Getting the Apple Watch SE, I think, is a very, very good choice. And that Apple Watch isn't really going to be like, like the jump from an SE to a Series 8, I don't think is a big jump compared to going from no Apple Watch to getting an Apple Watch. Even if it's a Series 4 like I have, that is a pretty big difference in my opinion. So take that as you will. I still think the Apple Watch Series 8 is completely worth buying. It's a very, very solid pickup. It wouldn't be, you know, it would be one of the first Apple Watches to pick up if you don't care about the price tag or whatever. But if you do, consider buying the Apple Watch SE or even consider buying a device like an Apple Watch, you know, Series 5 or Series 6 or even a Series 7 in the used market. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.